Hey guys, I'm gonna do a little late night project here. This is our new tractor transfer and it may or may not turn out. So you may not see this video, but you will see the finished pro product because I will fix it if I mess it up. So we have the tractor and we have the little trailer that it's pulling behind with some hay in it. The hay is from the another transfer it is from the truck add-on. So first I'm going to show you how to finish this. From start to finish we are going to do this project. I'm going to do this the Clorox wipe way. So I'm going to grab a couple of gloves. I did not have ready, but I would prefer not to get this all over my hands today since it is pretty late. I'm going to go ahead and put these on. Aren't these pretty? Nice and black. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the Clorox wipe. You're going to take your paint and I'm going to move my transfers so that they don't get this on it. I'm moving them way out of the way because I know how I am. I'm messy. That's just me. I am a messy crafter. And that's okay. So I'm just going to wipe this on. These, this sign here is one that I bought from one of our um, designers husband made these. I bought 20 of these really cool signs. So they're made of cedar, which I am allergic to. So I just had to set it outside and let it get its smell out so that it didn't smell. I actually set it out in the rain, let it get rained on several times to get the smell off of it so I could bring it in and work on it. But that's just the way it is. But it's a beautiful made sign and it soaks up the paint. I'm gonna have to get a little bit more paint here. You're just putting a thin coat on here. You do wanna see the grain through, but I ran out of paint. So we're gonna put some on this edge here. I always try to go with the grain, but to get the edge, sometimes you have to go down but smooth it out immediately. You don't want a line going down and a line going across. So this is just a different technique. Rather than getting out a paintbrush, you can paint it. You can do whatever you want. I just don't want to clean the paintbrush. So here we go. I am just going to use this to wipe it on and smooth it around. And then I'm going to dry this. So I have my heat gun here. I'm gonna dry it with the heat gun. I'm gonna wipe my hands first so I don't get paint all over my heat gun. back down to room temperature. Okay, I'm gonna sand this. I'm gonna sand this over my trash can. I just have this little sanding disc here. I have a trash can next to me. Sorry, you can't see that. Just lightly sanding it. When you paint wood, it raises the grain. So I just wanted to lightly sand it. It had been sanded before, 
So now I just want to put just a little bit of black on there for a contrast. So I've put just a touch of black paint on here. I'm going to dip the Clorox wipe in it. And I'm just going to get off some of it. I don't want a lot on here. So I'm just going to do a couple of swipes. Just do it quickly. <laughs> there goes my paint. All right. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. And you can kind of, you can take the other side that doesn't have paint on it. You can kind of blend it in. You're just giving it a little bit of color. All right. Perfect. That is what I wanted. All right. So I'm going to take off my gloves. I'm going to dry this again and I'm going to wax it. I want to wax it because this is paint. This is not a chalkboard. So I'm throwing all this away, picking my paint up off the ground so I don't step on it and squish it. And I'm going to dry this. tell if paint is dry by the way it feels it's cool up here so it's not it's not quite dry you can feel the moisture in the paint you want to move it continually so that you don't bubble your paint Feels good. So then I'm going to take my wax, and the part that I'm going to wax is the bottom where I'm going to be using the transfer. I'm going to do something different on the top, so I really want it to stick. So I am not going to wax that. So the tallest part of my transfer is going to go to right there. So I am just going to, and that's a little bit too much, I am just going to spread this out like this. And you're kind of buffing it. You want it to get down into the grain. You don't want any excess on there, so um, a lot of times I will take a paper towel and I'll go back over it and get off as much as I can. All right. So like I say, I haven't done this project before and it looks a little bit intimidating because there's layers and I don't know which I should do first. So I think that this goes first and this has a number one on it. So I know that goes first. These guys are later on. So it's always hard when you haven't done a project before to know how it's going to turn out, but I know that I want this to line up under that wheel there. So I'm going to have to figure that part out. And I want this to kind of be even there. So it may be tricky. All right, so this is the first time this has been used. 
So I am going to fuzz this and on the back, I'm going to put an X. That is what I like to do. I'm going to do this quickly on all of these guys because X means do not return the transfer to that side. You could sit and you could write the name of the transfer, but I don't bother. I, I'm the only one pretty much that uses these transfers, so I know which one it's going to go back onto. So I'm just going to peel this transfer off of the backer sheet. You want to save your backer sheets because these transfers are reusable. You're going to take good care of these transfers so that they last you a long time. I'm going to fuzz this twice. Pretty sure that I did a good job waxing the, the wood, but you never know. And I think that's going to go about right there. Well, you know what, if it's not perfect, that is okay. I'm not going to cry. So. I'm actually going to bring it down just a little. I'm trying to figure out, I want to make sure my wheels are going to be on there. Okay. Well, it is what it is, right? So, the colors that I've chosen are basically John Deere colors. So, this one is, I happen to look at the bottom, a lemon yellow, and then we have evergreen, elephant, we have our black, and this one is honey, and this one is bark. So, I am going to put... The yellow is going to go right here. We'll see how this turns out. This is this is an experiment. I don't know. I'm hoping it turns out. Okay, so I'm just gonna spread this around on my wheels. I wanted to do that that color. So set that up there and then the rest of this I am going to do my green and this is the closest to a John Deere green that I could find in my colors and I'm just going to spread this into all of the little openings on the screen so these are our silk screen transfers they are similar to a stencil, but they have a silk screen in them, which helps you so that you get a really nice level transfer underneath. Sorry, I'm trying to smooth that out. So we put the rest back in the jar just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and I'm going to pull it from this side. Okay. Yep, that is really weird. There is, well, there's a little mark down there. Oh, I guess that's supposed to be there. All right, so there we go. We're going to pull that off. This is going to go into my water bath. So we're going to make sure that you have water ready for all of this. Okay. Hmm. Well, there we go. Let's get this dry. So you want to make sure that it's dry before you do your next layer. And you want to bring it back down to room temperature so that it's not too hot. You don't want your transfer to adhere to it. So I'm going to feel it and make sure. Okay, now remember I want my trailer to be right under here so so i need to fuzz this i am going to fuzz this on my shirt just to make it easy so you could do this on your shirt 
You don't want to have something that has big fuzzy bumpies on it. But this this shirt is seems like it's okay. All right, so I am I am just guessing that this is going to end up right here. Trial and error. So and get the hair out of there. Always shedding. Okay. <laughs> Here we go, guys. So, so this is going to be our wagon that's being pulled. I'm going to do several colors because I want this to be as realistic as possible. So, so this part I'm going to do in our elephant gray. I'm going to do the wheel in our yellow, and then this is going to be. Oh, it's going to be in our bark because it's a wood color. So first one, I'm going to I'm going to do the elephant gray. It's not going to take that much. I'm just using this little squeegee that's been cut in half. You can cut your squeegees if you want to. Okay. Then I'm going to do the yellow on the wheel well, just carefully, just dipping that in there, just spreading a little bit in there, a little bit more. All right, and then I'm gonna do the wooden plank on here. So I'm gonna use this one. And then I'm just going to peel. All right, awesome. Putting this into the water bath so the chalk paste doesn't get all dried into my transfer. And I'm going to dry this. down to room temperature and this is our next part so with this I'm going to do this I'm going to do all this part yellow so that we have a contrast and this is going to be black yes that's what I'm going to do okay so I'm going to fuzz this piece When you're doing a second layer, you always worry that it could possibly stick and pull off some of the chalk paste underneath. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fuzz this three times just to make sure. Okay, then I'm going to line it up. I did not do my registration marks like like it showed that you could do. I am just kind of eyeballing the open part. You can see where this is open. Let me show you in just a second. And it actually doesn't line up perfectly. Don't worry about that. None of these do. They get stretched just a touch and when you take it off of the backer sometimes and so don't stress if if yours looks a little different and doesn't match up perfectly it will be fine so there's these little holes here I'm matching those I'm looking underneath and trying to match it the wheel is not going to match up It's either this matches or this matches I don't know why but that's just the way it is and you know what? I'm okay with that. So, so the part that's going to be a little difficult is right here by the tire. And I'm going to take just a little piece of, of painter's tape. And I'm going to put it right there while I'm doing the black. And then hopefully I can get this so that, so I can do the yellow underneath. And I might do that. I might do that different. I might do those gray. That would be kind of cool to do 
some of these things gray. So let's do, let's do the wheels or the tires. I'm sorry. Let's do the tires. We already did our wheels. So our tires are black because tires are black. I'm just going to smooth this around. Your top piece, do you want it to be the consistency of yogurt or sour cream? I'm just going to smooth that around. I'm trying to just get the perfect amount so I don't have to take any off. But you're going to go back and you're going to remove the excess and you're going to put that back in your jar because you're going to reuse that. I'm going to take this and, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to peel this little piece off and I am going to be so careful and I'm going to do right down here, do these first. So we'll just have a little bit of a contrast in there and then I'm going to do yellow up here. Even though it's not going to be true. John Deere colors, it will be close. So, so I'm just being careful getting this in here. I don't want to get the black into the gray. I need to work quickly so this doesn't dry. I'm going to do my yellow. I'm just going to dip some in there. And I'm going to spread it quickly because I think my black is drying. So we are just going to quickly get this on here. Remove the excess. All right. And then I'm going to peel my transfer. Okay, so I can see that a little bit of the green came off. But you know what? I think it's going to be okay. It's making it look a little bit more rustic. A lot more rustic. So there are things that you can do to avoid that. And one thing would be to, to wax that. But for now, I'm not going to worry about it. You can sit there and touch it all up. But it actually doesn't look horrible. Okay, so next... The next part is going to be the wagon right here. I'm going to dry this really quickly. something because hmm I am not so sure about that I actually have I have another transfer that is just the same thing so I so I kept two for myself and then I'm going to be selling some of the other ones I am going to try to do the green over the top of that I could wait and let my transfer dry but for the sake of timing, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to cut this out and we are going to redo that green and we'll see. We will see. How is it going to be? Is it going to pull up the yellow next? So the thing that I probably should have done was just put a thin layer of wax down on that and that, that sometimes is the key to making sure that it doesn't pull up so this time let's try that let's let's take our rag that has the wax on it and let's just wax the surface and this is just a test I don't know that it's gonna work we're gonna see so 
sometimes you have to just do this and try something different. I'm going to just fuzz this on my shirt. My shirt probably has a lot more fuzz than that towel. Okay, and then we're going to do the, I'm going to try to do the green over this. Even though you're supposed to do the other first, you're just going to try this. We're going to salvage this project. Okay. All right. That looks pretty awesome. We don't need to redo the yellow because the yellow, the yellow actually looks fine the way that it is. I'm just going to reapply the green and then we're going to pull it and we're going to see. We're going to see if I've made a mess of it or if it looks better. It's hard to know. And sometimes you just should leave things the way that they are, right? Maybe I need another coat of yellow. So I start thinking, okay, I need to fix this. I need to fix that. Well, maybe I do. Okay, so let's go for it. Let's just do, let's just do our yellow again, just for the heck of it, since I feel like this project already has had to be fixed. Let's just do this also. Okay, and then I'm gonna pull it. Let's see, see what we did. See if it made it worse. Okay. Well, I think we did it. I think we pulled it off. Okay, so now we have our green and our yellow. And I just happened to have a second transfer. So you could wait and let your transfer dry. I didn't want to do that because I didn't want to stop my video. I'm going to dry this. So now we're going to do the back of the wagon here. I'm going to fuzz this on my shirt. Okay, and I'm going to line it up. And I'm just looking through here, just lining it up with what's underneath. Just making sure that everything is even. Okay, right there. All right, so I want I want this to be black because here we have the mud flap and we have the tire. We have the bed of the of the trailer is going to be green because that's going to be metal, and this is going to be brown. So we have a variety of colors going on here. I'm going to lay down some painters tape to try to keep this so that. So that we don't get the the wood part all green okay so let's do our black first there's just a little bit of black i don't need much it's just just enough to do the the tire and the mud flap i'm just going to pull down okay and then the green is just going to be right through here and I'm just going to pull that down into the open areas of the transfer I'm going to go up right here so that I don't get the tire sometimes you just have to go in different directions okay then I'm going to pull this and I'm going to do the wood so I'm going to carefully do that. I'm going to actually, hmm, well, I think I'm just, I'll just use this. I'm just going to dip this in here and put a little bit on there, pulling it up and then 
you know, just going sideways, just don't want it to blend into the green, but it, you know, it's probably going to just a little bit and that's okay. We're just, we're just doing the best we can with this. So what you could do is you could tape that off. You could take this off. You could dry it after, and you can go back and you could do that wooden piece by itself. So, but for, for this video, I'm just going to do it like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull. Okay. Doesn't look bad. It looks pretty good. And pull that, put this in the water dish over here. Just make sure that you always take good care of your transfers because they will last you a long time. You can use them over and over. Okay, so this is the hay. Hey, there's hay. That was always our joke growing up, being in Idaho and <laughs> going, hey, and someone would say, what? And go, hey, there's hay. And there was, there was hay everywhere. So this is going to be lined up right with the edge of that. I'm going to put this down to protect this so it doesn't pull up. You can't do that when you're layering, obviously, because you're you have to put it on top, but if you have something that's adjacent to the area that you're working on, feel free to put something down there just to protect that area. And then I'm trying to make sure that I have this, I wanna make sure that I have it even. So maybe, maybe I wanna do that first. Okay, so I'm gonna put this down, then I'm gonna pull this up gently and put that down just like that. All right, that was a better idea. Okay, so my transfer, you wanna make sure that you're right at the edge. I'm gonna push that down. I've got a little bit of the white showing, but it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna use our honey color. This is an older retired color, but it reminds me more of hay. So I'm gonna use this. I'm just gonna spread this around. And then I have a surprise for you guys, because, you know, I I grew up in Idaho and and Utah. Okay, so can't lie, I lived in Utah too. But in Idaho, everywhere I went, there are fields of hay or potatoes, and there's tractors everywhere. So it's so funny, Kenny Chesney's song, she thinks my tractor's sexy. It probably was true for some of the girls up there. Don't know that it was for me, but pretty good song. And you know what? We're gonna we're gonna put that saying on here. So that's what I have decided. Instead of going with the one that says tractor life, that tractor life, I am going to put she thinks my tractor's sexy. So oh I have some green right there. Let's get that off before we start the next part. So this is water soluble, but some pigments are gonna show. So let's just hope that this isn't gonna show through here too bad. I do see green, but I think it'll be okay because my letters are more than likely gonna cover that. All right, so let me go ahead and dry this so I don't stick my hand in it. not gonna lie I have only done vinyl letters a couple of times so I might struggle with this because honestly it doesn't always come off as easily as you would think but I printed out with my silhouette I printed out these letters and I'm gonna try to get it even here and I'm gonna try to 
cover that little green spot and okay maybe like right there does that look even it does not look even it's gonna have to go over right like that okay so I'm a little bit worried about down here about pushing too hard so I'm going to be really careful there. Um, I'm going to put this under the edge so that the part of my my chalk paste does not come off. All right. And then I'm going to use my, I have two different ones. So, so usually I use this one. I just don't know if it's going to push it down enough. So the first thing that I should do is press this down and get it to stick and then the process of peeling it up and keeping it stuck on there is the next step so like I say I've only done this a couple of times so what I learned was just be patient and just peel it carefully and if it starts to come up, then you put it back down and you try again because you want all your letters to stick. And they're actually doing okay. And then I'll go over it afterwards and I'll make sure that, that they're sticking on there. So they actually, okay, so I'm lucky now, I really am. But remember, I did not wax this part of the board. If I had waxed it, my letters probably would not have stuck. So think about what you're doing. And honestly, I could have taken time and I could have used my, my Chalk Couture transfer letters. There's a lot of fonts. I could have done that, but look at how easy this is. Instead of lining up each of those letters, if you have a silhouette or a Cricut, you can mix and match things. All right, that was that was really easy. So, so I don't know if I'm supposed to do this, but I think it makes sense to lay this down here. This is not sticky. This is just part of what was there before. And I'm just gonna push this down. Like I say, I don't know if this is what I should be doing but it makes sense to make sure that all those letters are down. All right, guys, what do you think? So I had my doubts. I didn't know, did not know if it was gonna turn out, but look at it, it's pretty cool. All right, so if you wanna know more about Talk Couture and how you can purchase this or how you can become a designer, just leave me a message below I am not a high pressure salesperson. I don't twist anybody's arms. If you're interested, let me know. I, I'm the type of person that I believe you have to really love something and why would you get into doing something like this if you didn't like it? When I first saw it, it was pretty amazing. I actually saw these on a friend's page. I saw some signs that she made and I couldn't believe that she actually made them, not because I didn't think she was capable of making them, but because they were so awesome. And I thought she had bought them to resell. And then I saw a demo that she did of how, how easy this is. And I thought, I can do this. I can do these for my craft show. And so I signed up just to sell these at my craft show but I learned that people really love to learn these things. So I'm going to be teaching this at my first craft show. I'm going to be demoing it. I'm going to be taking my product there so that people can actually buy transfers or chalk paste or, and the surfaces. And I'm going to take some kits. And it is pretty exciting to think that I can teach somebody how to make something like this that they could hang on their wall and that they could be proud of or they could give as a gift. So, hey guys, if if you're interested, let me know. If you're not, that's okay. Just keep watching, keep supporting me because I love what I'm doing. 
and I hope you love watching too. So have a great night. I'll be making more. I got a huge box in the mail today of the rest of my transfers. So there's lots more to come. So thank you for joining me.